Hello, wonders of the internet. It's Paleo Jonathan, and I am. Oh, what the heck? Uh oh, that can't be good. On account of the fact that Kerbal Space Program is not opening. And oh, did I did I open like a second Kerbal Space Program? What the heck? Yes, I did. I very much so did. Uh, okay, there we go. Now we're in Kerbal Space Program. And I forgot to um put the right people in the in the thingy root to vehicle assembly. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. Sorry, my brain is not in the right spot to be playing Kerbal Space Program, but my heart wants to. So that's what I'm doing today. So anyways, yeah, today I'm sending people to Gilly. Oh wait, we need to hire some people real quick. Uh do I Oh yeah, so we're gonna be doing um the smaller stuff, because this is a smaller planet. I thought it would be a good time to pull out the, uh, rover... rover base that I used on Minmus. I also thought that it would be a good time to use one of our smaller, not our smallest space station, just a small one. And I, I'm gonna use our standard satellite, because they're small anyways. Um, but yeah, we're gonna finish up with Gilly. Let's hire a couple people. Oh gosh, I'm poor. Uh, we're gonna need three or four, really, but okay, we got four. Good. We got John Weld. You look like somebody who could drive a car, and uh, Zylie, Yeah, you do too. And then Richard, Richard. Yeah, 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 you can handle the um. Uh, you can handle the lander can. Yep. Okay. Great. Wonderful. Uh, save launch. Let's go. To Gilly, to Gilly, to Gilly, yes. If I sound unenthused, it's because I have been, like, crunching hard on projects that I... That's why I've been gone again immediately afterwards. It's projects that I chose to do. Like, I didn't have to. No one was forcing me. But there were a lot of things I really wanted to do recently. So I did them. Um. Anyways, though, I'm just gonna l go right ahead and launch the rocket. Whoosh! Yeah, because these videos get long fast. Um, that is remarkably stable for a rocket of its size. I'm gonna start my gravity turn. And, yeah, so first I gotta get into orbit. Then I can escape Kerbin's sphere of influence. And I don't want to go, I, I've learned that, you don't want to go over 200 meters a second for a bit. So, you can, like, turn down that, turn that up, yeah. Because you're putting in more work than you need to to get through the atmosphere. Shoot, my gravity turn is going a bit wonky, though. Because I've been focusing on not uh, doing the thing, it's fine, though, it's fine. It's fine, it's okay, it's okay. It's getting a bit trickier to control now. Okay. Then let's cut to full force on the thrusters. Pretty soon we'll be losing our booster stage. Okay. And... There they go. No explosions there. Okay. Let's see, okay. We got plenty of fuel, and our apoapsis is, in fact, rising. And we should be able to get a pretty good circle going around the planet. Starting to feel a bit of heat on the fairing. That's totally expected. Uh, let's point prograde so that I don't have to keep controlling the thing. That would be nice. But yet, the fairing is definitely taking the heat well. Uh, pointing prograde, definitely the right decision. I think we need to be pointing more so upwards. We do not have enough upwards force. And that's going to get our main stage a bit spicy hot for a second. Hot, hot. Um... But yeah, I, I can't not make it to space, at least, on this. So, and I have enough fuel. That should do it. 
and then it should be only a bit of horizontal burning. I know that this is... I use some minorly goofy stuff. I'm still getting used to playing K KSP again. Um, I, I think I cut, like, too, too much horizontal. Like, I was burning too much in the atmosphere when I didn't have to. Um, which was, uh, generally speaking, a waste of my fuel. Generally speaking, of course. Um, let's see here. Let's get near vacuum. Okay, great. And then point prograde, prograde, prograde. Oh yeah, I forgot this thing doesn't have any very big, uh, does not have any very large, um, uh, reaction wheels, so I can, I'm just gonna have to use my vector to turn. It's fine. There we go, and then, uh, boom, shalaka! Burn sideways, and I don't think I have enough fuel to finish the circle, because of the wonkiness. I might, I might though. Let's go to Apoapsis again, just get every last drop out of this fuel that we can. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. So we're going to have to use a bit of our interplanetary transfer stage. I'm going to lose the big heavy on account of the fact that Wait, but that's a mainsail? Am I stupid? What? Why did I put a mainsail on my interplanetary transfer stage? I'll be right back. I'm gonna change that out for a um uh, rhino real quick. Okay, so I managed to get a way better uh, go at it. So I should be able to get fully orbit circularized with just my orbit stage. Like, oh. A little bit less than that. That's fine, though. Um, let's see. Let's uh, not have a really, really powerful vacuum engine immediately beyond when we enter the vacuum. Uh, so, oh, oh, wait. Shoot, shoot, shoot. We're out of space. Uh, a bit of a point prograde, point prograde. You know what? We're going to have to just be a little... We're going to have to get a little wonky here. That's fine. That's fine. We're gonna have to go down a bit on accident before we can go the right way. That's okay. That's okay. So, anyways, let's do that. Shoot. Actually, at this point, I can probably just point prograde and burn to uh, do my escape burn. Now that I think about it, so let's just do that probably. And let's watch that very closely. Do not want to be wasting fuel. Um, but yeah, this will work much, much better than a mainsail. I don't know why I had a mainsail on my middle stage. Um, the world may never know. Anyways, so let's, uh, fizz time warp. Let's turn off fizz time warp off. So I can... There we go. Okay. Boom shalaka. We have our, um... Curb and escape completed. All our kerbals are looking fairly happy. <clears throat> and now I just gotta accelerate time. Lovely, lovely. Look at that beautiful planet. Goodbye, Kerbin. These people are never gonna see you again. <laughs> um. Anyways. Just gotta. Okay, I think I should be able to. Yep, there we go. Fully time warp now. And whoosh. We are now in orbit of the sun. And that will allow us to. Should be fairly easy, because we're already really close. Shouldn't even have much of a capture burn. But. And it's fairly close. And it has a big gravity thing. Because it is the third largest planet. Dot, dot, dot. After Jewel and Kerbin. I believe. We're going to, uh, EVE, um, which was the Kerbal Space Program equivalent to Venus. Let's see, I should set it as my target, probably, now that I think about it. 
Uh, yeah, that'll probably help set it as target real quick. Our ascending node is within a reasonable margin. I think that's fine. Not a major issue. Come on, there's got to be a place where it intersects. Come on. There, okay, we got nodes. What on earth? Or what on Kerbin? <laughs> Anyways, um, there we go. That's it. Come on. Nope. Okay, I think I gotta go push a bit more out. There we go. Eve encounter. And I have enough for it all in one fuel tank, which is convenient. Uh. Anyways, let's just time warp a year ahead. This might take a moment. Hold on, probably should. Yes, yeah, start pointing towards... Make sure that that is pointing that correct way. Well, we're going to be out of electricity by then. Yeah, we already are. Um, That's fine, though. Because I'm not uh, warping directly to it, I'm just going to yeah go temporarily. And it's fine. They can go without power for a while. They'll be fine. <laughs> Um, yeah, what do you, what do they even need power for? <laughs> um. Uh, so now 90 days of time over here. At least it isn't my Drace mission from last episode, which I think the video might have gotten deleted, which I'm a bit concerned about. But hopefully it didn't get it deleted. Uh, that would be bad. Uh, in which I think they spent, like, half the time that the that this career has been going for. I think half of that was spent on that trace mission. It was a disaster. Anyways, we can deploy that probably. And honestly, since we're going to be time warping, I think that these should be enough on their own. Uh, I'll extend one solar panel. Um. Anyways, though, I just gotta time warp another 12 days. Luckily, 12 days is nothing. Um, 11 days. That's a good first warp. You just get, the secret to warping is you just gotta get, like, closer and closer and closer until you're finally there. It's not about, like, getting it perfect on the first try. I mean, like, if you want to, you can do that, but, like, I don't know. My thing has mono propellant. What has mono propellant? It's the uh, it's Koopa. Darn it! I should have drained it, and that probably has it too, doesn't it? Darn it! Yeah, no, I'm taking way too much, <laughs> way too much mono propellant. In that zero was more than I needed in the first place. So really, I just needed time warp to to uh, 13 seconds before we have to do the node because that is when I'll start my burn. Um. The issue is getting within the r getting to that right amount of time. Come on. Okay. Only 12 minutes away. I kind of want to warp exactly. That should be almost exactly the right amount of time. It should give me a couple seconds to like catch my bearings and then I'll immediately have to go. Yep. Oh. There, yeah, well, uh, uh, exactly half as much time as I needed. So anyways, I just gotta wait for seven seconds, and then, at the end of said time frame, 15, 14, 13, boom, start the burn. Sticking on that maneuver node, should handle the rest. As we watch, our periapsis dip towards Eve's periapsis. And become more in line with said plan. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, and we're coming up on the end of our maneuver. And... Yeah! Yeah, we got an encounter! Yay! Huzzah! Um, so we have a bit left over in our, in our, in our, in our interplanetary transfer stage. Um, and we have an entire capture stage and a landing stage left intact intact not that you need much of anything to actually land um on gilly you could probably do it with like two fuel and a dream 
Now you could probably get out and have a Kerbal, the Kerbals push the rock, the <laughs> ship to landing, but we have it, we have it in case. In fact, really, we have landing, we have, like, these are originally meant to, like, just kind of control the rocket, um, so that it didn't land on its side, because that's how it originally was landed when it was first put on Minmus, um, but I'm fairly certain that I could literally just use what I have as, like, a mothership, and then have just the... Uh, yeah, just have everything drop off on its own. Okay, shoot, don't want to work past it. Okay, oh, we are in EVE. Great. And we don't even have that fast of an orbit. Yeah, we should definitely be able to capture easily. The issue is that we are nowhere near Gilly. <laughs> and Gilly has zero gravity well. Oh, uh, which is why we have a 2,000 capture stage. Even though we're definitely not going to need 2,000. So let's point retrograde. And slow down that orbit so we don't go shooting past them. Uh, the planet. That would be nice. I would enjoy if that could happen. Oh yeah, and then once we're in orbit... Actually, shoot, I should have brought in a second satellite so I could put it in orbit of just EVE. A and a space station. Hey. You live and you learn, you live and you learn. Anyways, so yeah, just burn and... Uh, capture so that we don't go shooting off into space. Okay, great. Then let's... There's no other thing here. Yeah, yeah, Okay, decouple that. Activate that. Boom, shalaka. And then let's wait until periapsis, probably about now to start circularizing again, because I do not want a, that wonky of... I'm trying to avoid getting a really wonky orbit, so we can actually maneuver into Gilly's orbit. Okay. Lovely, and then one, now that we're here, I burn retrograde once more, until we have a new periapsis, Going further down. Oh gosh. Wacky stuff is occurring. Anyways, though, we now have, yep, a uh, honestly not horrible orbit. Yeah, okay, great. It's pretty it's pretty much circular. Uh in the grand scheme of things for how far out we are, that is. Um So if we set Gilly as target, I think definitely the first step is uh Definitely fixing our, like, the plane that we're on. In fact, I should probably make a maneuver for that. Hold on. Add maneuver, uh, this way? No. <laughs> Heck no. Okay, we're gonna need to do that, and we're gonna need to also... No, burn prograde. In order to not... Now, what on earth? Wait, what? <laughs> so this is... Uh, a thing that I don't understand, as the amateur space boy that I am, would it be blue that I pull on? What, what do I need to do to not, to not go shooting out into solar orbit by trying to rotate the thing? Um, I go there, where it overlaps, right down, and I rotate, and that makes it elliptical. So I would have thought that I just burn. Retrograde a bit. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. I don't know what they did wrong last time. But yeah, all, all it would take is burning retrograde, and then... Oopsie, wrong way. Do that, and then burn... Now, what on earth? Let's try that again. Add a new, maybe I just need to do it bit by bit. So I pull down a bit. Retrograde, yep. Oh. Okay. Now, uh, what on earth? I'm awfully confused. Um, I'll be right back after I figure the heck that out. Oh, sorry. My mic got awfully close to my face for a moment there. I'm back like 10 seconds later. Literally, all I needed to do was do it like bit by bit. Uh, like a bit of the one burn and then a bit of the other one. Anyways. <laughs> uh, this is going to have a 25, like a 49 second burn time. So, just start warping. Uh, and after that, I'm going to need to, um, 
We're gonna get bit prograde. Where is Evat? He was right there. Yeah, so like we're essentially gonna yeah, we're making like an eight around EU. Which is kinda of funny. Um so yeah, I'll need to what is the most efficient way of doing this? I think it is, yeah, burning to make our uh peri or yeah, our periapsis. Gilly's apoapsis, and then from there from there burn to make our periapsis my apo Yay. Anyway, so time to warp an hour and twenty one minutes away. Yo, first try. Let's go. <laughs> my audio isn't delayed. I, I guessed it. I guessed it. That's... <laughs> but no, really, my audio isn't delayed. Um, I did guess it. It's kind of funny. Uh, I cannot... There we go. Do not warp that far ahead, because then I would literally be on the node. I think that is probably a better warp right there. It's just a minute ahead real quick. Okay. And then you gotta wait until 25 and then a half a second. Should be easy. Okay, just time more pinch to real quick. Three, maybe four. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom, shalaka. Okay, and then five, four, three, two, one, and a half. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, and then. I uh, just gotta stay on that maneuver node, though. Do I have no idea why it's uh, turning off of that. Oh, yeah, it's because it's heavy on one side, so it's rotating itself. That's fine. Fine. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Ugh. Can't think. Brain hurt. Brain hurt, though. Um. Shoot, did I remember to put a... Yes, I did. I did. Okay. We're, we're good. I was gonna say, did I remember to put a decoupler on the thing that's holding everything? Oh gosh. Anyways, we can just about finish up our burn in three, two, one now. And we, yeah, we have a very similar plane to it. It's a positive one. Oh, because we're going in literally the opposite direction. Uh, it's gilly. It's gilly. That shouldn't be a problem. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, yeah, no, that should not be an issue, because the capture is going to be tiny anyways. Um, even though literally I'm going in the opposite direction. Ah, uh, that's lovely. I like that. I like that. It's hilarious. Uh, we're all happy here. We're all happy here. Anyways, time to burn directly prograde. Um, so that we can go just a little outside of... I mean, I don't literally. I literally don't even need to do anything to get an encounter with Gilly because I'm literally going the opposite direction. Um. Okay, and then warp to here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then at that point, I can just burn retrograde until we are going <laughs> in circles where. Uh, Gilly's orbit is, and then eventually we can just capture it. We have more than enough fuel. I'm not that worried. And actually, we can put our satellite there, and that's kind of cool, is having something. Or, you know, because we want to be in orbit of Gilly itself. Never mind. We're not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> okay. We should be passing pretty close to Gilly here. Where there's Eve, where's Gilly? Where's Gilly? Um, it's somewhere. Dot dot dot. Um, point retrograde. Said point retrograde. Lovely, lovely. And then it's only a matter of time before we are. Boom shalaka, we are now very, very close to Gilly's orbit around Eve. In fact, we are just about at it. I'm going to boom. Okay, now, now I gotta get that right there to say target position or closest approach. No, that makes it further apart. Um, Let's see, what do I need to do to make this hit? Uh, let's try burning a little bit more prograde, and I think I'm gonna have to change my, like, 
plane of it again. No, what? I'm gonna burn retrograde for like half a second again. Uh, so I can get that node back. I do not know where it went. Just kind of poofed out of existence. Um. I can just burn out a little bit. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Okay, so I can run progress a bit again to get closer. Um. Yeah, I think I'll just wait until my ascending node and then get a bit of correction going there. Uh, so just go to go to prograde and then burn like. Until these are at. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Then I'm going to go to ascending node. Add maneuver. A little up, maybe? No? No, that's not it. A little down. Oh! Okay. That's awfully confusing. Um, I'm fairly certain that if I just go there and then burn towards Gilly, I'll make it. I'm gonna make a save here. Called Gilly Encounter, and then I am going to time warp to there, and literally just burn towards my target. I think that I should be fine. I should be able to get a Gilly capture. Um, there's gonna be like a possibly like a thousand meters a second capture burn, which I have more than enough fuel to complete. Oh, okay, I see the issue here. I see what's happening here. Okay, anyways. Let's just, um... Shoot, no, we're going anti-target. Oopsie. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> this time, not literally doing the opposite of what I said I would do. Um... So what this should allow us to do is essentially just reverse our orbit. Yeah, reverse our orbit until it is we're following Gilly. And then we can speed up a bit faster than Gilly. And then we'll catch up to it until we're in its sphere of influence, at which point we can do a bit of braking. Yeah, I like this. I like this plan. I like this plan. It's inefficient, but uh, it's fast. And also I have a save so that I can do the proper way if I ever feel like it. Um... Which is nice. Anyways, though, just gotta. I'm gonna time warp ahead. Great. Okay, and then. Boom shalaka. You know, no, that's not gonna work. Sorry, I'm stupid. But actually, I literally, I like, I could just do. It. I, I can just keep what I currently have, in that I'm. Yeah, no, I know what I'm doing. Uh, anyways, I, I totally know what I'm doing for sure. Um, no, I'll keep the fact that I am. Uh, I'm now going in the correct direction. Yeah, no, I'll take that. That is the right thing to do. Uh, the other thing I did was absolutely incorrect. I have no idea what I was thinking. Um, okay, uh, I probably should have warped to there, but I'm stupid, it's fine. Shouldn't matter, as I said, I have more than enough fuel. I, I keep saying I have more than enough fuel, it's gonna come to bite me in the, it's gonna come to bite me when I, uh, do not have more than enough fuel, and I can't land on Gilly of all places. Um, wait, oh, that's a terrier, Ugh. yuck. Burn prograde. Oh, I gotta activate it manually. Oopsie. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then time warp because this is a terrier and this is not a tiny little baby baby rocket. Okay, lovely. And then we're just about at our descending node. So let's add a little maneuver to fix that real quick.
Lovely. Okay, great. Um. So then let's warp ahead to that time warp. Oh, wait. Do not do it on physical time warp. That'll take too long. This is probably the most inefficient ghillie launch in existence. Um. Yes. I gotta turn to my maneuver node. Okay. Time work a bit more. Just get as close as I can. I'm gonna actually do it manually. Oh, there we go. Lovely. And then I can stop now, and at five seconds, I can start the burn. F five, four, three, two. One, zero, okay. And then, boom, shalaka. Okay. That's as close as I'll get. Um, and then now I just... Wait until Gilly catches up to me. Is this the most efficient way to do it? I don't think so, but should work. Actually, no, this is a waste of time. I mean, it, it, got, it got us closer, but still. Um, Actually, let's time warp to periapsis and then get our apoapsis closer. Oh, shoot. Overshot. That's fine. I've got plenty of time. Okay, there we go. No, wrong side. Oopsie. Literally the exact opposite of the intent. Okay, there you go. And then another little hop with 10,000 times. Okay, great. And then, boom. Shalaka. Burn. Uh, just a bit retrograde. Come on, I. You gotta get an encounter. Gilly, I hate you. Why do you gotta be so small, though? Ah, <laughs> uh, Gilly, Gilly, Gilly. Why you gotta be like this? Okay, anyways. I don't even understand, like, how one gets a Gilly encounter outside of literally just, like, going in circles and waiting for Gilly to come to them. Actually, I'm going to stop at the apple, uh, the wrong side, and make my orbit even closer. I know that'll mean it'll take longer to catch up, but it also means I'm actually going to get an encounter, and it's not going to shoot past me on accident. Okay, and then, burn, right, uh, yeah, retrograde. Uh, retrograde, yes, that is the intention. Okay, and then, great, okay. Lovely. Uh, okay, so Gilly, Gilly, Gilly. Uh, I still. Now I just gotta time warp ahead until I'm very close to Gilly. I think I actually might be in a shorter orbit, so all that time spent having Gilly catch up to me was wasted, and now it's just gonna be having me catch up to Gilly. Lovely. This might take a matter of years. I'm not. I can't be bothered though to do it a different way. Um. Actually, I can totally be bothered to do it a different way. Oh my gosh. Let's load the Gilly encounter save. Actually, no, I have enough fuel still in this one. Um. Seriously, Gilly, it's not funny. I don't get it. How do I make a Gilly encounter happen? Add maneuver. Like, do you. Like. Need to, like. How how does one get a gilly encounter? How how do you get a gilly encounter? I don't know how you get a gilly encounter. I have no idea. Uh yeah, I'm just gonna sit like this here, I'll be right back. We did it, gamers. We got a gilly encounter. What I did is I got my orbit. I put it a little bit further out than Gilly, so it was a bit slower. I let Gilly catch up and slowly I made my orbit closer and closer to Gilly's. 
until we got it. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna warp to that encounter. Gosh, I am in immense uh, emotional distress. Distress. Jeez, can't speak. Um, now let's see what our capture speed is. Um, we're gonna find out in just a second. What on earth? Huh? We're literally projected the. Huh? How does this happen? Huh? 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 Confusion. Anyways, um, I'm just gonna. What? What way do you even burn? How do you? B prograde. Prograde. I've been. Is there even a prograde? I. I'm awfully confused. Um. Yes, you burn prograde. Okay. That was the right call. Okay, then I go to the periapsis, and I gotta keep in mind that this thing is kind of oblong, but I don't think anything is gonna hit it there. Go to periapsis, and then go to retrograde. Pretty please. So yeah, there were zero capture speeds on the Doofus Kia, because I had an orbit that it was essentially the same as Gilly's. Get a nice, nice looking orbit there. Lovely, lovely. I think I'm actually gonna burn. Uh, warp there, yeah. I'm gonna warp to there and burn a little bit just so I don't get hit by that big mountain there. And I think I should be fine, but it, just to be safe. Just to be safe. Um, I'm not going to hurt anyone. Okay, and then boom, and then yeah, go for a great. Probably should actually look at Gilly. Shoot. Should not have done that on full blast. Um. Regretty in my spaghetti. It's fine. I can just do this. Boom. Okay. That's the intent. Let's take a look at Gilly. And it looks pretty big from here. It's not, though. Um. Don't let looks deceive you. Let's get to the light side of the planet. Not planet. <laughs> uh. Gilly's no planet. First, that's for certain. Okay. Um. So, anyways. Uh. Actually, I should probably. Darn it. Uh, I'm gonna have to... No, you know what? Actually, it would be kind of cool to have the satellite and the thing next to each other. So let's rotate like this. The satellite and the space station, like, nearby-ish. So let's... Yeah, they could, like... Or sh ah, darn, should have turned and had them both go there. <laughs> it's fine. Anyway, so, uh, let's, real quick, while we're able, uh, do a bit of setup. Yeah, Rick Tree and Podlock, this is your new home. And then let's rename this vessel to, uh, Gillian Dimorpho Dawn Space. Station, yes. And then make it a station. Lovely. I hope you enjoy your stay in your tiny little house that you'll live the rest of your life in. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. They have an ugly little bottom bit. Okay, and then let's go to the satellite. Extend solar panel. Extend solar panel. And, uh, yeah, that's already extended. Deploy scanner. This has to be in a polar orbit. Don't even care. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Anyways. Uh. And then. Okay. Oh, I just. I thought I did. Yes. Okay. We do have it. Um. Yeah. Let's decouple that little bit there. Oh shoot! That's gonna be there forever. I forgot which way to point the decoupler. It's. Gosh. Wait. Hold on. If I'm for, if from inside, can I see that? I. Kinda can. Actually, it looks kinda cool. I'm not that bothered. I mean, it looks lame from the outside, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, so at this point, I just burn retrograde for like half a second until boom shakalaka. I'm going straight down. Okay, great. Oh, ooh, too far. Uh, retrograde again. Um. Until it's zero, and then shoot. 
Oh, good. That should be fine. Okay, and then it go to surface. Point retrograde on the surface. I'm literally... Uh, I should make a save. la di da la da di la di -da, 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 da Anyways, lovely. Time warp as fast as I can. Ah, gosh. Okay, there we go. Lovely. I'm gonna fizz time warp. I'm kind of considering literally, like, burning towards the planet. Is that irresponsible of me? I feel like it's irresponsible of me, but I'm... It's not a minor consideration on whether or not I'm gonna actually, like, burn downwards so I can get there faster. I think I'm gonna do it. <laughs> this is hilarious. Gilly. Do be small, though. It do be small, though. Okay, and then point retrograde. Let's turn off physical time warp. And then slowly start our burn. Oh, there's our other landing spot over there. Hello. And then get close close ish to the ground. Um, actually, I probably can time warp a bit. I feel like SAS has it under control. And then now that we're getting awfully close to the ground, in that it's t pretty far away, actually, I can just blast it on full blast for just a second, and then time warp for a couple more seconds. Okay, and then time warp again. Oh shoot, bounced. Uh that's fine, that's fine. Oopsie. Regretty. Oh, sorry. Ah shoot. I am uh, abusing my poor mic. Um poor mic. Anyways. Let's see here. Uh okay, and then boom. Regretty. Why can I not turn oopsie? Oh the wheels. <laughs> The wheels are spinning. That's hilarious. Um. Anyways, let's just make sure we're going straight down. Oh, regret. Oh my gosh. Do not turn engine on full blast, no matter what. No. Turn on engine. They said full blast. They said it would be fine. They said. Um. It's fine. Literally, there's low enough gravity that I could literally. I don't even need to land upright. Uh. Just doing it for convenience sake. I literally could just drop and then land at the speed. It's, oh gosh, regretty, I bounced again. Because I didn't realize I was in four times time warp. I literally could have just looked at the number and been fine. Ah, I thought I was going way faster than I was. Regretty, regretty spaghetti. Anyways. Yay. We did it, gamers. We are bouncing along a bit, but yeah, perfect. Oh, wait, what? Huh? I'm just gonna decouple that. Lovely. I thought I could do some sick acrobatics on heckin' uh, Minmus. Ooh, try Gilly. This is four times time warp. Oh gosh, uh, definitely uh, turn off the reaction wheels to uh... Well, turn off the reaction wheels for sure. Otherwise, I am not going to be able to drive this thing. No, we're ready. Oh, wrong way. Oopsie. Um, turn on the reaction wheels. So that I can actually uh, yeah, hit the ground. Great. And then turn them off again. Okay, and then... There we go. Yeah, you just get our wheels on the floor. Maybe this was not the right decision for uh, what to send to uh, Gilly. On account of the fact that it immediately does a wheelie.
Hmm. This is a mistake. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I was just uh, in a defeat and turn on SAS and then just yeah. Oh. How how did I do this? I I'm just rotating. I'm just rotating. All I'm doing is rotating. Why is it rotating on its own? I'm awfully confused. You know what? I feel like this is a pretty good state to leave this base in. It's pretty much sums up life on Gilly. Low gravity. It's a top. Um, I'm going to pop a. I'm moving. <laughs> I said I was gonna pop a tire in the way. Dude, look at that sick head spin. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Sick ride. Ah, uh, this is great. It's beautiful. Graceful. Oh, we have... <laughs> oh my gosh. We are... <laughs> we have now gotten an apoapsis. <laughs> from spinning <laughs> in circles. Okay, I'm just gonna... Time warp ahead. I know it looks violent, but it's gonna touch down soft as a feather. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> this is such a failure. I can't even drive it. Oh, it does a wheelie on its own. There's not enough traction. Uh, how do I even like? How do I make this thing stop? It's too late. I could probably actually. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. I want the SAS handle it. I could have done that the whole time. 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 Honestly, it was fun to watch though. I'm not. I'm not arguing it. I'm gonna say that maybe traction. I don't know what these do, but I'm thinking traction control. Might be the right one. Oh, we are now experiencing a minor Kraken attack with the floor. I feel like this is a good point to uh, leave these guys to their devices. Actually, first I gotta drive it as a rocket car. 